Welcome student, 7th class, how are you? Hope you are fine and you are practicing your questions. Today we are starting our exercise number 9 from page number 124. In this exercise we will talk about squares of algebraic fractions uh, or algebraic expressions. So here in this exercise we have to find the squares of the following. Before finding out the squares, Let's revise what is square. See, if I asked you to find the square of 2, find the square of 2, what will you do? You will give a square on it and you will solve it. 2 2 are 4. If I asked you to find the square of 9, what will you do? We will take a bracket and apply a square over here and you will find 9 multiplied by 9 that is 81. If you are asked to find the square of uh, C, what will you do? Yeah, you will take bracket, apply square over here and then C multiplied by C, it is C square. Now, if here are two terms like a plus b and you have to find the square, what will you do? You will take a bracket, apply a square over here and uh, what will you do? think this one is the single one term you will multiply it as a plus b multiply by a plus b clear yeah so what will you do when you, uh, in previous chapter we uh, learned about multiplying of algebraic expressions how we will multiply them इधर बोलना नहीं मारूंगी बड़ा से आता नाचन कर लिए बैल तो नहीं ठीक इधर आगे बंद किए दोनों जब कर के उठ जाए जब बाहर की जब बाहर की जब जल्दी जाने जाएं उठ के रोएंगे ना तांग करेंगे जाओ अंदर बच्चे जाएंगे वो लोग जाओ कर के आजू दोनों तरफ से बंद करना चाहिए तरह दरवाजा वाशरूम करके आना फिर हाउ वी डिड मल्टीप्लिकेशन द प्रीवियस एक्सरसाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस फर्स्ट टर्म बाय ऑल द नेक्स्ट टर्म्स आफ्टर दिस यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस एंड दिस बिफोर मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द साइन आल्सो yeah. For, uh, for multiplication of a, a, a multiplied by a, it will become a square. If a is multiplied by b, the sign of plus, 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 it's plus. a multiplied by b, it is a, b. b multiplied by a, it is b, a, or you can also write it as a, b. Now, b multiplied by b plus plus it's plus b multiply by b it's b square b multiply by b it's b square a square plus a b and a b one a b and one a b it's two time a b a square plus two a b plus b square in which case this answer came this answer came to solve this one so here is another thing for you to remember when there are two terms and they are being added 
if the two terms are being added that is a plus b and there is the square so what would be the solution of these two terms the solution will be the square of first value plus the square of second value plus two times first value and the second value you can also write it as square of first value plus the square of second value plus 2 for the formula and first value and the second value is this clear this is the formula number one the square of two values that are being added if there are two values and they are being added so if you want to find the square so what will you do a plus b whole square is equal to a square means the square of first value plus the square of second value plus two times first value multiplied by second value you can also write it as a square plus 2ab plus b square now if you have the sign of negative between these two terms a minus b and you have to find the square of these two terms what will you do so what will you do if you want to find the square of negative two terms if there is difference in two values so how will you find the square of these two terms for the first time you have to write it as a minus b and a minus b then what will you do you will multiply this by this one and this by this one you have to multiply a multiply by a it will become a square plus minus sine of minus a multiply by b it will become a b after multiplying this you have to multiply this whole term that is minus b with this one and then this one minus b and my a it will become minus b a or you can also write it as a b minus minus it will become positive so b multiply by b it will become b square so what will you do next a square minus a b and minus a b minus a b and minus a b minus minus the sign of positive plus these two values will be added but the sign will remain of the greater fraction so the both are same so you have to apply the sign of minus with them a b and a b one time a b and one time a b it is it will become two times a b but with the sign of minus so here you will write minus a b and minus a b two times a b minus minus plus one plus one it's two plus b square so for this one a minus b whole square will equal to the square first value minus two times first value multiply by second value sine of positive and the second value square first value and this one is the second value you can also write it as a square plus b square minus 2ab after learning about the formulas we will start our exercise that is exercise 9 question number 1 its part will be uh, I will solve second part for you and the others you have to practice them your own that is 3b plus 2c here are two fractions uh, so two expression two, uh, two values so you have to take the square of these two values so what step you should take the first you have to apply square on it
so what will you do a square how a plus b whole square what was the formula of a plus b whole square a plus b whole square was equal to a square square of first value plus square of second value plus 2 from formula first value that is a multiply by second value that is b what is the square of a plus b whole square you have to remember it and that this formula should be on your fingertips because this will go now from now to throughout your life that is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square now here this one is suppose a is a and this one is b so what will you do a plus b whole square this is your term a a square this is your term b b square and here 2 a and then b so what's the value of a this is 3b suppose this is a plus b you have to write it as a a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square so what's the value of a it's 3a what's the value of 2ab what's the value of b first you have you will write the value of b that is 2c and now 2ab 2a what's the value of a 3b and what's the value of b that is 3c now solve it 3 3 what's the square of 3 that is 3 3 is are 9 b square 3 3 is are 9 9 2 is are 18 b c plus 2 2 is are 4 c square that will be your answer the things that you have to practice you have to memorize these two formulas on your fingertips that is quite important and necessary after memorizing these two formulas you will be able to solve the other questions very quickly a minus b whole square is a square minus 2 a b plus b square the sign of negative will be with 2 2 a b with though these both two will remain positive and when there is the sign of plus then the whole formula will contain the sign of plus clear i gave you the hints you have to solve the uh, question other questions two questions and practice them very well then next time we will start our next questions